What's going on everybody? Welcome to today's video. Today we are six days out from my final show, my fourth show of the season, and then also six days out from some pizza because our show is early in the morning, which means we're having pizza for the lunch or dinner, which I'm very excited about. Honestly, I might be a little bit more excited about that than the show, but we're gonna finish strong regardless. We do have a plan from the coach to finish up these last six days. Three more days of low calories, three days of the carb up, so we're gonna get some groceries. Unfortunately, I don't have anyone to film with me in the grocery store, so we're gonna bring this little guy just to get a few clips as far as like the foods I pick up. I'll come home and do like a full breakdown of everything I grabbed and how I'm gonna use it over the next six days. Tomorrow will probably be a full day of eating, actually breaking down the exact foods I'm eating. I'll probably do a full day of eating, not thinking about probably Monday, because today's Sunday. I'll probably do a full day of eating on Monday and Wednesday, so you guys get to see a full day of eating on the low calories, and then a full day of eating on the refeed or the carb up to the actual show. I'll be filming um, every day for the next six days. Every video will be slightly different. Today's gonna be a grocery haul, as well as, a, as well as a workout, excuse me. The next day will be a full day of eating. I'll do another full day of eating. I'll probably do um, an actual like vlog on Friday, probably do honestly some post-show or recovery diet shopping on Thursday. So I'll keep things interesting because we do have a few workouts. I just want to document the process and I'll show um, also, gosh, I can't even talk this morning, share just like kind of the mental side of things as I'm going through the last week so I can personally document that for myself moving forward. If I ever do decide to compete again or if I am thinking about it, I can come back and kind of watch these videos because right now, I'll be honest, I'm going through it. I wanted to quit quite a few times over the last, I would say, month or so ever since my first show. I'm like, okay, I did that anticlimactic, I don't really care anymore, blah, blah, whatever. But we're gonna see it through the end because once again, you gotta stick to your word and I already put a lot of money down so might as well finish strong. But yeah, now we're gonna go ahead and grab our bags here and head to the grocery store. Like I said, I'll probably just film a quick clip of me grabbing everything. I'll come home and actually break down exactly what I got, what I'm gonna do with it. And then obviously you guys will see some full days of eating later this week and how I actually make those meals. But yeah, let's head to the grocery store and basically this is my last Hopefully, my last grocery haul of prep, which is kind of insane to think about since we're six days out and we're gonna get all the food for the rest of the week since we have a plan going forward. But yeah, see, well, I guess I'll see you guys after the grocery store, but you guys will see what I got. And here we have it. Hopefully, the final grocery haul of my bodybuilding prep is all right here in front of us. Like I said, we have six days left until show day, and hopefully this will get me through it. We're gonna start over here with our proteins. As you can see, we got a whole bunch of chicken. I think it's like eight pounds of chicken tenderloin right here, and that's because I'm eating around a pound a day, if not a little bit more. So that's why we have so much chicken. We also have some eggs and some protein powder. So these two are more for my cutting diet. And the chicken breast, or sorry, the chicken tenderloin is the protein source for the actual carb up. Then we have a bunch of carbs right here. We have our 10 pound bag of potatoes. That is also more so for the carb up. Once again, I'll film a full day of eating during the carb up. We also have some rice, not rice crispy treats. So rice cakes, which are also gonna be for the carb up along with what I actually eat throughout the day today, or I guess I'll do a full day of eating tomorrow. So these are being utilized all week long. That's why we have so many. They only had three chocolates. So we had to go with a caramel and an apple, which is this apple cinnamon, which are both great, but chocolate is the OG and by far the best. You can find it, pick it up. We got some bananas as well uh, for some, once again, carb sources, but also some fruits. 
We got some carrots right there. We got some strawberries. Unfortunately, they didn't have any blueberries. So I think I might have to either substitute in strawberries for those or maybe another fruit that we have in the fridge. We got some almond milk to go with our protein powder over here. Also, Co Perez saves you 10% on Transparent Labs. Get your protein. Obviously, my favorite is chocolate. Anything chocolate, milk chocolate, dark chocolate, peanut butter chocolate, all amazing. Then we have our miscellaneous categories. We have our energy drinks. My goal right now is, well, my, I guess, yeah, my plan, not my goal, my plan is to use the reins for the next six days. So we got a four pack and then two on top and then transition to monsters because the reins are 300 milligrams of caffeine, the monsters are 150. And then after I finish with the monsters, hopefully these are the last energy drinks I buy. That's the plan right now. So I'll go from reins to monsters and then zero caffeine shortly after prep is over. We got some olive oil spray. We got some Rice Krispies. Why do I keep saying Rice Krispies? Some Reese's cups for um, the post-show pump up. These are literally like right before you have, right before you step on stage, have some Reese's cups. We've got some peanut butter for some healthy fats, a little bit of gum for that oral fixation, and then some of our chicken seasoning to go on our chicken. But yeah, this is, once again, hopefully the final grocery haul of prep. And yeah, um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else missing. I pulled up the protein, uh, salt, pepper, little seasoning, stuff like that I already had on hand. And then, yeah, I'll definitely be filming a full day of eating. Oh, and butter. We already had some butter. I'll be filming a full day of eating tomorrow, so basically exactly what I used from this grocery haul to make my full day of eating, my low-calorie full day of eating, as well as the carb up. But today, I just want to show you guys what I get. We're going to go ahead, put all this stuff away, prep some of the chicken, and then we're going to head to the gym shortly as well. So I'll take you guys through a full upper body workout, as well as some posing, and show you guys how I'm looking six days out. All right, real quick, we're going to make some chicken. I always get asked how I prep it. Very, very simple. We have our chicken tenderloin right here. I've gotten lazy and don't cut out the actual tendon. I think it's okay to eat and maybe a little bit chewy, but hey, it is what it is, we're lazy. We have our air fryer. That is the key to cooking things efficiently. We have our tin foil, a little bit of olive oil spray down there, and we're just gonna season both sides, put in the air fryer, 12 minutes, 365, flip halfway, and you're done, that easy.
And the workout is a wrap. Also met up with my friend Nate to take some photos for an announcement. Hint, hint. I think I'll actually talk about it in tomorrow's video, go over everything, but it is an apparel sponsorship. I guess like, yeah, sponsorship, sponsorship, partnership, whatever you want to call it. I'm officially an athlete with a company that I'm super, super pumped about. So I'll share more about, about that with you guys in tomorrow's video during the full day of eating, but extremely excited. So met up with Nate, got some photos post-workout when we had a little bit of a pump. Once again, I... I'm very, very happy with how I look right now because once again, I've been dieting for nine months almost. I'm very, very lean. I look good. I got the abs, the shreds, all kind of stuff. But it's just that sacrifice you have to make when I still feel like I look pretty damn good at like 10 pounds heavier, not as lean. Definitely my legs are by far the thing that gets leanest last. So the quad striations, the feathering of my legs is definitely by far the most I've noticed changes in the last 10 pounds, but for me, it's like the last 10 pounds have also been all the date nights with Katie, uh, traveling with my family, eating with my family, stuff like that. So it's like, it, it's always a balance of, okay, is it worth it? Is it not? Obviously I need to be a certain level of leanness in order to step on stage and look good. But I think in my everyday life and what I personally found to be enjoyable is definitely not being this lean and how fatigued you feel, all that kind of stuff. But once again, it is what it is. Decent workout, got a decent pump. Definitely not trying to push the weight by any means, like do anything crazy. Just get in there, do my two or three sets of each exercise, get a decent pump, make sure my muscles trying to hold on the best I can, which I do think I might've lost a little bit of muscle just being this lean for this long. So hopefully we can get that back pretty quick, but now I need to go home, get some food because I'm very, very hungry. And um, yeah, let's just go home, make a post-workout meal because I think we get some chicken, carrots, and rice cakes. And here we have our post-workout meal whipped up. We've got our chicken. Once again, I basically eat one pound of chicken every day. We got that cooked up in here and I divide that up amongst three meals. We're also gonna have 200 grams of baby carrots and then three chocolate rice cakes. That is the post-workout meal. We also had our creatine and post from Transparent Labs as well as this Powerade Zero. Unfortunately, it's not cold, but it is what it is. And then the Chula hot sauce for our chicken. That is our post-workout meal. Don't know where Maisie's going. Maisie, where are you going? She's back. What are you doing? Probably looking for some food. But honestly, I'll probably wrap up today's video here since all I have is another meal. We are also knocking the steps down from my 20,000 just to 10 to 12,000 because we're looking a little bit flat. And I think a big part of that was kind of just overexertion and trying to stay lean for, I think almost six weeks now since we kind of been show ready for that first show and trying to once again peak and then cut and then peak and then cut for four shows. Just, um, yeah, it adds up and it feels like I've kind of been wearing myself down so we've decided to cut steps. So I'm already, let's see, those will tell me. 9,930 steps. I only need 10 to 12, which I'll definitely be getting throughout the rest of the day. But yeah, we pretty much have one more meal, uh, a sauna, and then uh, our dessert, which is our casein protein. But I feel like you guys have seen that before. And once again, tomorrow I'll film a full day of eating everything I'm consuming at the current state of my prep. Uh, once again, a few more low calorie days before we refeed up to the show. But yeah, without further ado, I'll go ahead and end things here. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Any questions, always leave them down in the comments below. See you guys next time or tomorrow. Peace.